In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a type of graph called a heat map using a web-based graphing tool called Plotly. The first step is simply to get to the website, and you can just type in plot.ly to get to a screen that looks like this. You can create a new project right away, but it may be worth signing up. This will allow you to save your work and share with other people. The first thing you'll need to do is give Plotly the X and Y coordinates of each of the voltages that you measured in this lab. So in this first column, I went ahead and renamed it by clicking the little arrow next to where it says column one, choosing rename, and then I typed in Y position, including the units that I used. Next, I went ahead and I entered my Y position measurements into that column. For the X positions, I had to rename the remaining columns by simply replacing the column title that it has by default with those positions in centimeters that I measured along the X axis. Once I had those positions entered onto the spreadsheet, I used them as coordinates on the grid and I simply entered the voltages that I measured at each coordinate. Once you've got all of your data entered, you're ready to tell Plotly what type of graph you want to make. To do that, click Make a Plot near the top and choose Heat Maps off the list. You'll need to hit Select All Columns, and then under this column Y position, you want to make sure that Choose as Y is highlighted, and then make sure that Choose as Z is deselected. You also want to make sure that that first column is the only one where choose as Y is highlighted. The other thing you need to do is over in this white box, it'll give you a couple options for the X axis. You want to make sure to select column names. Once you've checked all of those settings, you can hit make heat map. Your graph should automatically appear. Once it does, make sure you click on the areas indicated to give your graph a title and axis labels. There's also a spot that can be hard to see that will let you give a title to the color scale legend, which is going to be used to indicate what color represents what voltage. Once you're satisfied with the appearance of your heat map, you can use the save button if you created an account to keep it for later. You can also hit share to send a copy of the heat map and your data to your group members. But the way you're going to get it into your lab report is by using export. You'll be able to export it as a PNG, which is a type of image file, which can then be uploaded into a Google Drive document.